My name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to make steel rivets in Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the gradient tool, which is right below the eraser tool. And I'm going to select a dark gray and a white color. And then I'm just going to draw it straight across my palette. I'm actually going to leave some room for the white. All right, and then I'm going to add a new layer. And this can, um, this can get a little tricky if you don't know much about light. But the good thing is, is that um, since we're using a gradient, uh, we're going to be able to, you'll, you'll know where the light goes <laughs> as soon as um, we make it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle. And I'm actually going to rasterize it. In fact, there's an easier way to do this. If you go to the Move tool, right below it is the Marquee tool. If you use the elliptical Marquee tool, you can hold Shift and select a circle. And then all you have to do is use the Gradient tool and do that. So now you've got that but it's not quite a rivet yet. So I'm gonna do that. I'm actually not gonna do that again. I'm gonna, actually, you know what? Yes, I will. I'm gonna make a smaller one this time though and make sure it fits right in the middle. And then I'm actually going to do my gradient again, but this time I'm gonna choose the, um, the radial gradient which is gonna give it kind of a bumpy, it's, it's gonna make it look, have a spherical look. Except you wanna make sure your colors are in the right order. Like so. You've got, so far you got your rivet, and then you can actually just go to FX in your layers panel and you can go to Outer Glow if you'd like. Make it a darker color. And if you want, you can even um, mess around with the contour to make it look a little more realistic. There's a couple different options. You can go through all of them. I'm going to stick with that one. And there you've got your steel rivet. My name is Alex, and this is how you make steel rivets in Photoshop. Thank you.